Good afternoon. As we move into the summer months, we need to continue to remind residents about the need to curb the spread of coronavirus. We have seen upticks in positive cases throughout our city, and with proms, graduations, and family gatherings increasing, we must reiterate our message of safety. I ask that everyone practice the safety measures that have been in place over the last two years to help curb the spread. On a good note, we have only two Bayonne residents with COVID-19 currently admitted to our medical center. Thank you to everyone who continues to practice common sense approaches to avoiding this virus. On a very happy note, I am delighted to announce the return of the Bayonne Memorial Day Parade. As you recall, a few years back, there was conversations about ending the Memorial Day Parade in town due to the lack of support. Upon hearing this, I moved the parade ownership into our Bayonne Recreation Department, who now forms a committee with various veterans and veterans groups to ensure the parade always steps off in our city. The honoring of our veterans remains a top priority for me. And this parade, which honors the brave men and women who gave their lives in defense of our great nation, has been a long-standing Bayonne tradition that we could not let die. We were ready to move forward with our parade last year. However, COVID restrictions prevented that. So after a three-year hiatus, we are all looking forward to seeing this great Bayonne parade march again. I'm hoping to see a large turnout to honor our veterans. The ceremony begins at 10 a.m. at 5th Street and Orient, and the parade steps off at 1030 from 5th Street and Broadway and continues up to 32nd Street and Broadway. Once again, I hope to see you all there. Have a great day, and I'll see you around the town.